Hello everyone and in this video I want to showcase something that I used to struggle in the past and this is something that I used to face or I used to face this issue when I started making websites and I don't know if you guys also face this but I think this video might be helpful for people who are facing this issue. So let me show you what I'm doing. So this is something that I have added to my page. You could actually get this as a free template uh, in my website. If you check the first one, it there's like lots of different sections and one of the section is this one. If I go to tablet, you would say it looks normal and for mobile, it looks normal, right? But let's say you were using something like this stuff. So let me just make this, I guess, 33, 33 because it's three by one kind of stuff like this and it looks good right and then you're like okay i want another one so i just duplicate it and i got another one and if you have multiple let's say services for example in this one if you go down you could see i have something like services like this so if, let's say if you had multiple services and you want to wanted to add it like in a grid system like this and if you go to tablet portrait you could see this is how it looks right now it doesn't look good right and obviously you could make it i guess one by one or something or you could add another one and then manually just go into responsive hide it but that would be kind of annoying to do it if you want to add like lots of stuff and i want this one to be around here i don't want it to be like this so it just does not look good and for mobile it would look good because it is just one by one right so what we can do instead is rather than using two containers to make this we would use a feature called wrap this is something i just didn't realize because i was very new to creating websites so and i was making with just like elementor so i didn't even know the basics of it like how the structure is created and all so let me just show you so if i click this container and if i go to wrap you could see suddenly this one is actually in the third uh in the next uh row and I've actually explained this a lot more times. For example, in my Bento video, I showed how to create Bento grids. And this is also the way you create Bento grids too. And obviously, you could go into your this stuff and then select grid. You, it needs to be enabled in Elementor features and then probably make it 3x3 three three grid. And it would probably do it like much more faster. So if I, if I let's say make this to be like 100 and then probably make this grid to have like two columns and one row this would be like much more faster way to do it but let's say if you if you just want to use flexbox okay maybe you created some design that requires flexbox so let's just do it with flexbox but if you want to do with grid it's like we're much more faster so just do grid if you want to do that but now let's just go with flexbox now if you check this one i've set it to 1500 pixels in box width so it's going to be 1500 pixels and just to show you one more thing i'm going to create a container on top of it which would be as a reference for just this video you don't need to make this i'll make this grow and then make this i guess uh like dark red let's do black it's easy to view okay and uh, this needs to be 1500 pixels so that it matches okay so you could see now it is perfectly lined up so we know that this is like 1500 pixels you don't need to do this it's just for this tutorial so that you guys can understand now what's actually happening is when you use when you don't click anything it's by default using no wrap okay now even though this is using 33 percent if i just duplicate it you could see it just went smaller so right now it is not using 33 percent but basically it's smaller than 33 percent you can duplicate it many times that you want and if i do it with using wrap and if i duplicate it like this you would see it does not make it smaller it keeps the original size so when you use wrap it is going to take this size in consideration so it is now 33 percent of our 1500 pixel box width if you do full width it would be like the full width size or whatever the size is it's just going to be 33 percent of the width but then you're going to be like okay this is 33 this is 33 this is 33 these are 99 these are 99 percent right it is less than 100 then why is it not being in line well actually you could see we have something called gap so if i remove the gap you would see suddenly it is actually being perfect it's like 33 percent 33 percent 33 percent uh there's like one percent of gap around here because it's not 100 right so this gap if you think of it as what's 33 percent of 1500 pixels okay you don't need to do this i'm just showing you guys 
this is 495 so this is 495 plus 20 so 495 plus 20 which is our gap then it's 495 again so like 495 plus the gap 1030 so this this much is 1030 so if i try to add one more stuff which is 495 you could see it is bigger than 1500 uh, box width or width so it's saying that okay i do not have space to be in here so let me just move it myself to the next area so what would happen if i make this smaller because it's suddenly it is like okay i have space in here so i'm not going to go into the next line but if i duplicate it you would say it's now going because it does not have the space you would create like very cool uh what you call layouts with this one if you want but right now i want them to be equal right so let me just make this 33 so here's what you do you simply choose this and oh sorry you choose this and you make it go like one percent less so that there's like spacing in here so right now it is 32 percent and if i keep duplicating this one you would say it is not doing it nicely but there's some issue so let me just go to the mobile way for now and you could see it now goes nicer okay i don't know why this is 100 this should be 33 okay this is what 48.5 okay there we go so now you could see it is now doing perfectly and no matter how many times you duplicate it would automatically be like one after another you do not need to even like do duplicate of this container it is now all in one container and all you simply do is duplicate duplicate and no matter what happens it's just going to be in order like this so so the same order that is in here would always be applicable for one two three four like this if you do duplicate around here it would not be uh, going in the same order and which can be annoying but there's one issue you would see is that if i go in here you could say it's not being perfectly 1500 pixels and that can be annoying right i want it to be 1500 pixels because that's the size of the layout that i'm creating so what you could do is let me show let me re remove one now this one is 32 this is 32 which is 64 so there is empty space around here so if i click on here and click on grow you would say it's going to be like hey there's empty space around here so let me just scale it up to the empty space and you could say this one is actually till 1500 pixels perfectly and then if i also make this to be grow then it's going to be equally so it's it's going to take the empty space equally like this so if i just duplicate it once more you can see it's now being perfectly why is my mouse not working okay now it is for it is perfectly 1500 pixels similarly if i make everything to grow it would do 1500 pixels because even though this is set to 32 percent it's actually more than 32 percent because there's an empty space right so it's being like hey there's empty space let's all share it because all of it has been given grow now one issue would happen is if i remove this it's not perfect it's not three by three so what can we do obviously this can create like cool bento grid options so you could see three two and then you could obviously play with like more stuff you could make this like be too big and then this one be like like this you would create bento grids with this but i don't want that i want it to be three by three maybe you are using it for a blog maybe you are using it to show services products anything that you want so i'm just going to do is if i duplicate this one uh, let's say uh, another thing okay uh, before that let's say if i didn't use grow and you're like okay this is perfect well you would say it's not perfect it's not being aligned you could see because this is taking 32 percent this is also taking 32 percent plus the empty space which was left and we don't want that so it's very f easy to fix you just have to duplicate it once more and simply just create an empty container and that's how easy it is just remove all the styling so there's like no styling for it like this and now we have an empty container so even though there is a container in here it is empty right but it takes space around here which creates this uh three by three pen what do you, what do you call a like grid and you would create it ni nicer and a cooler way like this 
obviously if you just made it to uh, grid it's much more easier to work with just make sure to make everything to be like 100% because the size of it is controlled by the grid that you are using like this and probably just duplicate it and this would be like this would be like the much more faster way to do it uh, why is it not 100% paste style paste style paste style and paste style and guess what this is like much more faster way to do it but sometimes i've found myself to be needing to use flexbox rather than grid so for that moment i use the wrap method but you could see we actually have lots of cool stuff in this grid ones too so it's the using grid is like much faster way and you should use it but if you want to use flexbox there is a bigger longer method and that i've already shown so yeah that's all thanks for watching and goodbye